Pulse 6 investigates now, and it could be a major hassle for the thousands of Hoosiers who have outstanding student loans. Tonight, our team is looking at how the federal government could expose you to never-ending calls and scams. Rafael Sanchez joins us now with details. Rafael. Well, Todd, good evening. Let's talk about the ballooning cost of college. In some cases, Hoosiers have about $28,950 in college loans. As you know, that is a lot of money. And of course, as this comes at this time, the federal government may open the floodgates for debt collectors to use robocalls for those that are automated messages to collect the money from you. Uh, someone apparently slipped language in the proposed federal budget that would let student loan collectors call you on your cell phone or maybe even text you. Now, since 1991, uh, such practices have been banned. The reason? Experts believe debt issues are best handled by a live operator who can hammer out a resolution or stop a call if it's the wrong number. The state's Consumer Protection Division says among its top complaints every year involve debt collection calls involving the wrong person or ones that are harassing. The state's attorney general doesn't get why this was put in the federal budget to begin with. It's always been uh, legitimate to call someone who owes uh, a legal debt uh, and arrange for payments. Uh, what we're really trying to avoid is this robocalls where you can get three and four a day. People in Indiana already get them that I can't stop. So now our own federal government will allow uh, these robocalls to be sent out to your cell phone if you own O student debt. Now, today we are learning that there is a plan to fix this issue, hopefully within the next week or two. Now, this all popped up as debt collectors are under a lot of scrutiny for using abusive and deceptive tactics. Todd and Erica.